This is uh, James Calm, the guy on the bike again, and uh, today we're coming to you from Eastern Greenpoint on Norman Avenue, and we're visiting the uh, Janet Kurnatowski Gallery. We're going to go inside and uh, take a look at a, an exhibition of paintings by Cynthia Hartling. And uh, here's the artist, Cynthia Hartling. And the gallery is Janet Kurnatowski. Hey, hey Cynthia. Hello. Well, we're here to take a look at your exhibition. Why don't you come up and give us a tour? Or, or do we need to call makeup and all that stuff? Uh, no. <laughs> um, well, this is work that was done in the last two years. And um, where should we start? Should well, start let's start over here. Do you have any questions, Laura? This is your second Well, to see them. these are oil on canvas. They're all oil on canvas and um, done over a period of time where I rework the surfaces with oil, well, any substances, linseed, turpentine. And there's a lot of Handy work that goes into it, where I am wiping out using palette knives, scraping. So, how much time would you spend on your average uh, on your average canvas there? I don't know. I don't know that there's a time span. Until they're done, right? You just keep I just uh, sometimes keep working they for a while, and I bring them back out and look into them, look at them. Well, I noticed that uh, it seems that. Uh, <coughs> The new works have become a little more simplified. the The forms are larger, and uh, it seems that the um, the painterly incidences are uh, kind of reduced, so that you have larger areas and uh, just more more simplified compositions in general. Well, uh, the transition from painting on a larger surface allowed me to step back and see what I was doing in a different space, in a spatial relationship. So, whereas this is more uh, in keeping with the format or the size that I would do in the past. So these are, most of the paintings are a little bit larger than you have worked on? Uh, intentionally so, yes. I, I wanted a new psychological space in which to play and invent forms. And the smaller ones were, um, I haven't abandoned that, working in that mode, but I like the idea of expanding my vocabulary. How about titles? Do any of these pieces have titles? Um, just the one over there. So they're untitled. Yeah, most of them are untitled. I think part of the fixing a name to um, this way of working where it's, it's, uh, it's all about making up and so the title does what? Um, I rarely put titles on at this point because I feel that it situates it in the time and I feel for me they're constantly changing even after they're done. <laughs> So I kind of like having them just as visuals, nonverbal. Well, that's what they used to teach me. If, if you could say it in words, you'd be a writer. And I guess painting in certain ways is supposed to transcend that kind of thing. Well, I was hoping to find a vocabulary for movements, um, color, thoughts, uh, sounds, <laughs> and this painting in particular was where I discovered uh, the palette knife and using that as another 
intervention into the medium, which, again, I, I tend to like uh, the surfaces or just the paint and trying more and more to get involved in the medium as the meaning. Working small, originally my aim was to devise and develop my own vocabulary. And with an intimate, smaller size, I was able to control much more in the surface and play out different scenarios on a small scale. And years later, I've come to a place now where I've decided to blow up those small scale paintings, drawings, into a larger venue. And it's a place where I always wanted to be, but didn't feel secure enough to play out these. Do you see yourself doing paintings, say, six by eight feet or five by seven foot paintings at some point? Uh, it's possible. I don't, I can't see it yet. <laughs> you got to get a bigger studio, more storage space first? Or? No, I would feel dwarfed by something too large. Um, it, it, it just, it's incremental when I get, re when I feel the need to move to another uh, format or scale, I'll do that. At this point I'm very, um, I felt content in this size. It felt right. It's all about where, psychologically where I think I can um, make the forms have the, the most to say. And the This is a very nice piece I hadn't looked at close before. You've got a very nice uh, subdued uh, toned down palette here. Now that's an older painting. I thought it might be a little older. That was one that I wor was working on back in early 200, uh, 2000. So you've been working on this painting for over seven years? Well, I go back into it. It's not, not every day, but <laughs> no. keep it around. Who would you say have been some of the influences on your painting if you were to uh, look back and see who uh, you might be kind of uh, building a, an inheritance in, in painting from? Well, this summer in particular, I was looking at um, Hans Hoffman with the push and the pull. Yeah. I wanted to play with the color and the, the shapes more that way, and that idea of space. Uh-huh. Um, but... It's an amalgam um, of many uh, painters that I see over a period of time, and that changes too. Um, but it's the Ab Xers, abstract expressionists, it's uh, the early modernists. Um, it's uh, Charles Birchfield. It's it's uh, numerous amount. Eva Hess. Um, um, okay. Susan Freecon, um, contemporary. Okay, well, that's a little uh, little view of uh, Cynthia Hartling's painting exhibition out here at the Janet Karnatowski Gallery. And uh, so we're, this is James Calm signing off from Eastern Greenpoint.